What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another R Bitcoin. As always, links will be in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, consider subscribing. We upload four or five videos a week. With that, I'm Bitcoin Jake09, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number 10. El Salvador has a 1.5 billion demand for its 1 billion Bitcoin bond, Financial Times. What kind of a pump should we expect from this news? Is it a big deal or just another page of good news for Bitcoin? The bonds are oversubscribed and we are not even in a bull market. I don't know. I don't think we're in a bear market, though. Would other countries be foolish to not be lining up with their own Bitcoin bond offering soon? At what point will demand for Bitcoin truly outstrip the supply equals price go up? Some good words for thought there. Number nine. We got Malaysian Ministry proposed legal tender of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. That's pretty interesting. I mean, more and more countries are going to start doing that now. Number eight. It's actually pretty much the same thing. Malaysian Ministry of Communication urges the country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. The same thing. Yeah, it's hard to breathe in this thing. You're on number seven now. If Russia part of its if Russia had part of its 284 billion central bank reserve in Bitcoin, they would have never been frozen. I speak this as a Ukrainian. Next time, at least do not keep reserves outside your country before invading another. Yeah, that's very interesting and kind of funny there. Coming from a Ukrainian. Number six. We got U.S. lawmakers say Bitcoin is aligned with American values will strengthen the dollar. U.S. Congressman Pete Sessions says Bitcoin is aligned with American values and will strengthen the U.S. dollar. The lawmaker further noted that the cryptocurrency is trending to be a more resilient alternative option to hedge against fiat currency inflation. Yeah, pretty interesting. And I am messing up today. Number five. Paying at Starbucks in El Salvador using the Lightning Network, Blue Wallet, Miss Bitcoin M AI, my 20 second video. Hey, that was it, gracias. At Starbucks. Nice. All right, number four. Candidate for U.S. Senate demonstrates a lightning network. Okay. We're in El Tunco, El Salvador. This is the jungle street food in El Tunco. And we're going to do a Bitcoin purchase using lightning network. A dollar fifty cerveza here. A dollar fifty beer. All right. And this is a, you'll see that this is more secure than Visa, more private than Visa, more inclusive than Visa, more energy efficient than Visa, more transaction capacity than Visa. All you do is have to have a sm smartphone and you're on. Or a tablet so or he's something. Using a Bitcoin Beach wallet. And I'm going to launch my strike. Now, in the U.S., I, I tr using ACH, I transferred a, like a hundred bucks into Strike. It's a custodial wallet, and all they have to do is pay. And I'm going to scan this QR code, and that's a dollar fifty for this this beer. Uh, strike is adding one penny to the transaction. I'll confirm. And for the transaction fee, I guess, for the, the node routing. And he gets his fifty minus the one set. That's an example of a custodial wallet. There's, uh, there's non-custodial wallets where you aren't going to pay that penny. So I think... Like you know, blue wallet. Now when El Salvadorans, you know, go through this learning curve, 
It's going to be goodbye Visa and hello Bitcoin. There we go. We're on number three now. Yeah, but the inflation is because of Russia. Bitcoin 2022, April 6th through 9th, Miami. I was just looking at this t earlier today, actually. Man, I wish I could go. 80% of all U.S. dollars in existence were printed in the last 22 months. Was it 80%? Man, I was telling somebody yesterday. It was Sunday, actually. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, it's this guy that I was telling about. I was telling him you should buy Bitcoin when it was like $600. And he never bought any, never got in. And... Uh, we we're talking about like you know the russian ruble and other stuff and he and we were talking about fiat and the dollar and i was like i mean the dollar's gonna be worthless i mean we printed i i said like 50 percent in the last couple years like two years i didn't know it was 80 percent in 22 months not 24 like that's crazy to think about all right um oh crap nope number two I really gotta get better with this stuff. I need, I, I really need like a little stream deck or something. So number two, I think the president of El Salvador is onto something. Also, be safe, Naib, saying this sort of thing can be dangerous. Just ask Muammar Gaddafi. The most powerful country in the world is falling so fast that it makes you rethink what are the real reasons. Something so big and powerful can't be destroyed so quickly unless the enemy comes from within. And he's, uh, quote, retweeting the Bloomberg opinions. Inflation stings most if you earn less than 300K. Here's how to deal. Take the bus. Don't buy in bulk. Try Lentus instead of me. What? Isn't that stuff like all, like, if you already have a car, why would you take the bus? If, why wouldn't you buy in bulk? Like, that, that you save money if you buy in bulk. What, like, you don't want to eat lentils instead of meat? Like, no, you can just buy meat. Nobody said this would be fun. Yeah? Okay. What, what a, what a kind of dumb opinion, Bloomberg. Alright. Our Bitcoin, number one. Current situation. The government, when you lose money in crypto, I told you it's risky and volatile. The government, when you make profit in crypto, tax, tax, give it right here. <laughs> so true. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for our Bitcoin top 10 past 24 hours. As always, everything is down below. Peace, love, and hold on. And uh, as always, I got my merch on. Go fork yourself. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. All about BTC.com. Uh, there's a Teespring link for that there. Peace, love, and hodl.